What's up, Castle Clash Hirsch here, and I've got a quick video for you. Maybe not so quick. I don't know. It's it's gym roll, so I mean, we'll we'll see how it is. Uh, first off, um, quick shout out to uh, <laughs> Sortopia. Um, they're the guild I am sponsoring this week, or or giving shout outs to this week, or whatever you want to call it. Um, they're doing some amazing stuff. Got some great leaders going on. And, uh, yeah, if you're looking for a good, well-established guild, just search Sortopia in your guild hall and check them out. They've got some great stuff. Um, there's some uh, links down below or, or uh, uh, explanations on how you can contact that guild down below in the notes section. So check that out, guys. Um, yeah, so we've got 12k gems, and I'm playing on a White Knight member's account, Ezzy. Ezzy is an awesome, awesome, awesome member. She's been very dedicated fairly new to the guild and look at that already 6k shards donated yeah wow so impressive very very cool um anyways guys yeah so what i'm what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at her heroes we're gonna do a few rolls we might even do a here be monster take a look at that yeah she's got some open there um we can take a look at that uh this is her base um uh, she's got the h setup going on here um so yeah We'll see what we can do. Let's go ahead and take a look in here. Quick peek at her heroes. We got lots of heroes ready to be upgraded, it looks like. 93k? Oh, 93 HP. 93 HP. So we definitely need some HP for this account. Wow. Lots of legendaries. Some cool, cool, cool stuff going on there. Got a little pumpkin duke. We got three pumpkin dukes. What kind of awesome luck is that? Check it out. <laughs> Got a 4 of 9 Pumpkin Duke with a 4 of 5 Revite. We're definitely going to hang on to that Revite. Uh, 4 of 5 Revite, Spirit Mage. Uh, 1 5 Revite, Thunder God. We're going to need to re-roll Thunder God there for sure. Um, we'll keep that. We don't need anything on Paladin. Paladin is not very useful. This Succubus, though, could definitely use a new talent. And she could probably use some uh, skill upgrade as well. We got three, 5 of 9, that's awesome. One of nine. We're going to need to re-roll for this champion, too. Champion that can be the most helpful hero in boss fight with the right talent. 3-5 Deli to Strike Druid. Um, so, yeah, we're definitely going to need... we got a few great talents, and we've got a few talents that we definitely need to work on. we got a Revive Reaper. That could be fun. Ooh, 2-5 Heavy Blow. Nice. That's that's awesome, too. Wow. It's got some awesome heroes. 5-5 five, five Heavy Blow Snowzilla. Get that sucker leveled up for boss fight. Holy cow. Got a little ninja down here with 1-5 revive. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get these rolls going. And then we'll do a here be monster and call it good. Um, I think we're going to start with the champion. Um, get that re-rolled. Because that can be your biggest help for boss. And we need some HB right now. We serious, seriously need some HB. 2-5 Deadly Strike, not much better than Berserk. Well, I mean, that's better than 1-5 Berserk, so we'll do that. 2-5 Heavy Blow. Hmm. 2 Berserk versus 2-5 Heavy Blow. I think I'm going to go with Heavy Blow, because if you can get that... I mean, we've got two other Heavy Blow heroes, plus this guy's a stunner. So if we can get some time stunning that boss, that could be a huge help. Uh, we don't want those ones. Go away. Thunder God, your turn. Going for that revite. And those are not revite. Let's get back out of there. Oh no. Succubus. Do we want to roll? We need to do something in between. We need to do something in between. Let's go take a look at where she's at in the dungeons. Um, all the way to dungeon 5. Opened up. Perfect. One of my favorite dungeons right here. Awesome stuff. Let's go take a look at it and see how we can do in it. I'll use my same tactic. I use for when I ever do this dungeon, and that's dropping the druid out at a distance and bringing everybody else in here. Wow. And let's see how they do. There goes Emortep's proc. I love it when Emortep's proc, just because of all the damage he does to walls. That's so helpful for, you know, when you're trying to get that achievement, that wall achievement, and you're attacking bases and you have to have a certain amount of walls. Big truck driving past me. <laughs> there goes Emortep, and those dragons just disappear. And look at that. Emortep is affecting both of those towers in the center that he was really far away from. 
You can see the damage he's doing to him from quite a distance, and that's just amazing to me. Emertep can be really a game changer, for, especially for lower might accounts or people who don't have all the best heroes just yet. There you go, one more proc Emertep, and there he goes on that succubus. Let's see if he can get a stun on her. Doesn't even be, ne be needed. Where's our Druid coming in with some heals? There's some heal. Oh, just too late to save that Emortep. That's too bad. That's too bad. Oh, well. Easily done clearing this base out. Looks like we lost Pumpkin Duke and Emortep. That's not too bad, though. I lose Pumpkin Duke all the time in the dungeons. He's just, he's just soft. I mean, he's got some amazing, amazing support stats, but he's just soft when it comes to raiding in dungeons. All right, back to rolling now that we've given that a little break. That's kind of something I like to do. Um, get back in there and go back to that Thunder God. Sprint, no thanks. Oh, scatter, come on, give me something good. I mean, that three five's better than a one out of five. No. Oh, three five revite. Woohoo, that's a huge step up. Huge step up. That's awesome. All right, Druid, where were you? Oh, I don't... I mean, I, I would love to see... This can be such a big help in almost everything if we can get a good talent on that. And these are not good talents. Those are not good talents. Spirit Mage, where were you? We, we want that. Um, hmm, who's next? Emortep has the 2-5 Heavy Blow. We got 5-5 five, five Heavy Blow over there. I, th I think it's your turn, Druid. I think it's your turn. Nope. Nope. 3-5 Revite. That's actually what my Druid has. Awesome. That's perfect. I mean, it's not as good as 4-5 Revite, but 3-5 is good because it allows just enough time to pass that your guys are going to get that first heal right on time for it to be real effective. So that's pretty good. That's a good spot. A lot of people like 4-5 Revite on their Druid. 3-5 um, Revite is about the same same concept. I mean, 3-5 is better than nothing, so we'll go with that. Too bad that wasn't a higher heavy blow on that Succubus. Having another heavy blow hitter would have been awesome. Let's get back to that Druid, or the Champion. I really want to see Champion end up with something... Phenomenal. We got one roll left. Uh, one more. Nothing. That's too bad. We got some pretty good changes here, though. We've got one hell of a heavy blow team coming up here, though. We got 2 5 heavy blow on this Emor Tap. We've got 2 5 heavy blow on your champion, who's also got his heavy blow. 4 5 revite on the Pumpkin Duke. 5 5 heavy blow on this, this guy. I mean, yeah. I'm looking at a boss team right now. If you were to if you were to drop your druid as bait, then Snowzilla, followed by Emortep, followed by Pumpkin Duke, and Champion. You could I mean that's that's three heavy blow hitters with two stunners and some heals going on and that could just be oh well, maybe even thunder god instead of who thunder god instead of emortep I, I don't know i'd try both of them i'd try i'd try emortep just because he's got more stun capability as far as he's got both his stun in his proc and the stun from the heavy blow versus thunder god who just has his one stun so yeah i'd try both i'd try it boss a boss round using Druid as bait, and then dropping Snowzilla, Champion, Pumpkin Duke, and Emortep, and then try it again, switching Emortep out for Thunder God, and just see what works out for you. And what you do is you would drop, um, you would drop your Druid, and then drop everybody else, and then if that first stun goes off, you'd stay in the fight. If the first stun doesn't go off, then you would exit the fight before the boss gets to your Druid, and that's how you would do well in a boss fight using this heavy blow team. So, yeah, cool stuff there. An awesome little heavy blow team you've got going on there. I'm real impressed. That was some pretty lucky rolls. Um, I, I'm happy. I'm happy. I would be happy with what we just got out of that. A um, couple 3-5 revites is going to be a huge difference. Let's go ahead and do one Here Be Monsters, and then let's get the heck out of here. 
guys. I, I'm not sure you know, why that cut out, but it looks like it cut out. Oh well, that uh, that just means I need to do a little bit of video editing to splice these two halves of the video together. Not that big of a deal. Um, all you missed was the start of this here be monster, and uh, hopefully we will um, get it going. Um, yeah, so we'll just let this run out, and then I'll do some editing to get the two videos together, and boom, there you have it. Ezzy's account, we've got some Herby Monsters, we've got some pretty good rating, and we got Boss Fight in two minutes, and Niggy and Friends. So I'll go jump over there as soon as this Herby Monsters is done. There's Emor Teps proc, love it. And this account is handling F with ease so far look at that guys and it's spawned on the same side each time this is the first time it's come from the other side as you can tell and there isn't a single building touched yet this is using my exact base that i have for um town hall 18 um he has or she has um town hall level 20 but you can see she used the extra walls down below because you don't need those um, you don't need those walls in this base design. <laughs> Absolutely not. So anyways, this is this is level 80 and a couple level 100 heroes farming F easily, very easily, using this design. Check that out. First building is finally downed right there at the very end from the inside of the base. So that's it, guys. 35 shards for you, Miss Ezzy. And uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Remember to check out Swordtopia on um, the Guild Hall. You can go boom, search Swordtopia, and you can find them in there. And they're a great guild if you're looking for a guild. So that's it. I'm out, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe and all that jazz. Have a good one.